Hey everybody, it's Jim with RV with the Tanners. Today I'm going to show you a neat little add-on I've done to my truck. For those of us with fifth wheels, it's a little bit of a hassle. Once you've connected the truck to the trailer, uh, then you got to do this dance with your truck in order to connect the brake, uh, the brake controller cable to something on your truck. Most of us kind of attach it to the hitch on the truck. And on my truck, it's a dually, so it's very difficult to get up there. I had to put a step in it. It's kind of a hassle. you got to step up and get way in there and then connect the breakaway cable to something, again, the hitch. I've just found that difficult to do over time, and it's just, it's not easy time and time again. Um, so what I've done in order to alleviate that is I've gone out and I bought this thing from Bull Ring. That's their, that's the website you'll go to. Or I'll put a link down below if you want from Amazon. Your choice. But what it does is it goes into those little uh, holders on the rail of your truck. And it's going to replace that just basic plastic plate there with an actual ring that you can tie stuff down to. Um, when you get it, they're probably screwed all the way in, these two screws. There's one here, and I'll get a little bit closer. Each one of these screws, they go down into that bracket there. Um, unscrew them all the way, because that's how you're going to get it down into the bed of the truck. I'll show you when we get outside of the truck. And then what you're going to do is put a flathead screwdriver in here, and it's going to hold it up while you screw these back in. And then it gets really, really tight. Um, so it gives you a nice tie down on the bed of your truck. So the concept here is I'm going to replace my breakaway cable with one like this. So this is now uh, able to um, be a kind of a zip cable so it'll expand and go back and forth. So once I have this on the rail of the truck, the bull ring, and come directly from the trailer straight over to the bull ring and attach my breakaway cable. That makes it so much better because now it's a tight connection and no longer do I have to worry about anything that's in the bed of my truck. Maybe catching that brake cable. I don't have to jump in the back of my truck anymore in order to connect and then do it again when I disconnect the truck. So it's just that back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to try to make this much better. I think it's going to be a neat solution. I haven't installed it yet. So uh, you guys can be the judge of that after I do the install if you think it's something that's uh, advantageous for your rig. So before you guys comment, I know the trailer's not connected. I just got it close enough to make this video make a point here. All right, so when you basically, when you're connected your, your fifth wheel to your truck, now you got to climb up here in this area and connect that darn breakaway switch. So what I always have to do, I got to step over here. Step up, climb up, to get up in here, get this darn cable. And then when my hitch was closed, I would put it in here the safety pin and off I go. Now the problem is this kind of flops around. If I had a cooler in here, I've got problems. It's just not really a good method of doing it, right? So what am I gonna do? I think you know. All right, so we're at the back of my truck and now I'm just gonna pop out this little temporary bracket they put on the rail. It's really easy, you just put a screwdriver to it. Pops right out, easy. And you take your Blue ring, and like I said before, make sure the screws are removed. And then it just simply drops in at an angle, like that. And then the other part goes in at an angle. And then for the tricky part, what I did is I just put my screwdriver in here, and I pull up, and that puts a little bit of tension. And it pulls that bottom plate up, and then I'm simply going to put these screws back in. Sure, I fast forwarded through that. So now when I'm ready to access this, I just pull up on it. If you don't pull it all the way, it flops back down. Once you get to the very top and you pull up a little bit more, it locks into place. Very nice. Now we used to ride uh I put dirt bikes in the back of here, so I could easily use this to tie down some of my dirt bikes. But what's gonna happen now is I'm just gonna use this cord, attach it to over to my fifth wheel, and this is gonna be my breakaway switch. The next step of this pro uh, project is to replace the brake cable. So what I'm gonna do is, first off, take off the existing breakaway cable, just cut it away. Okay, now that I got that cable away, I'm gonna attach the new one. I'm gonna save my clamp here for the side of the truck. Then I'm just gonna use this typical, what they're used for like keychains, and I'm gonna put that onto the breakaway. So now that we've got all that other stuff taken care of, we've got the bull ring installed on the truck, we've got the new breakaway cable installed on the hitch. I'm gonna show you how it actually works. Let's assume I've just hooked up my trailer. Now I'm gonna attach my brake. So open my bull ring, it's now ready. I take my breakaway switch, connect, connect it there, 
you know, see now that it's tight. Now it's not hanging down into the, the bed of my truck. I can put stuff here without worrying about that darn breakaway switch being pulled while I'm in route. Now remember, I'm gonna show you this. The hitch is not installed. I still have a couple, about another foot to go. So I'm gonna have a little bit more slack on this line when you take a look at it. So now you'll see when I do get fully attached, this is gonna be basically parallel to my bull ring. And this has plenty of slack to move around in the wind, but it's not down in the bed of my truck. And now when I'm ready to go, all I have to do is just do a quick connect and I'm done. I don't have to climb up into the back of my truck every time. Really a nice way to, to upgrade your breakaway switch. All right, I know this was a short video, but I think it was really important so you don't have to worry about that darn brake controller and jumping up and back in the fourth of your truck. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and this is Jim with RV with the Tanners. So if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that it reminds you when we post new videos.